Good morning. Well, as you can see out there behind us, it's uh, it's shortly after two thirty in the morning, the time when most people, if they're not already in bed, will be getting ready to go to bed. In this one, I'll go go and pick an engine up. Now, one of the previous videos I did a while ago now was about uh, a mate of mine, Dave, and his cars, and he's recently bought, as you've seen in uh, in one of the more recent videos, he's recently bought a nineteen thirty eight Chevy sedan. Now that came with no engine, no gearbox, no interior, etc. So that needs an engine. So what he's decided to do is take the 327 Chevy out of the Ford F1 van and put that in to the 38 Chevy sedan. And uh, then he's going to get, we're going down today to get an engine to put in the Ford F1. And it's going to be a Ford engine. It's going to be 460 cubic inch, which makes it around about seven and a half litres. Comes with a gearbox on the back of it, so engine and a C6 gearbox. And uh, we're going down to pick that one up. We've got to leave early because we've got to try and get through rush hour and get there because the people that he's buying the engine from, obviously it's a, it's a working area going in there. Busy, it's a busy old day for them as well. So we're going to get down there and uh, get the engine up uh, on the trailer and then we're going to bring that back. So I'm just going to finish my coffee, jump in my car, head over to Dave's house, leave my car there, get in here with the trailer and then we're going, going to go down and pick this engine up. It's never ending, is it? Anyway, it's going to be great fun. I'm not going to do much filming on the way down there, owing to the fact that it's so dark outside and it's not somebody passing. Oh my God, there's a car on the road at this time in the morning. I bet they're just coming home from somewhere, being on a night out or something, and then uh, they're just coming home and getting ready to go to bed and here's me getting ready to head out. Anyways, uh, so we'll get down there. I'm not going to do a lot of film on the way down because obviously it's going to be like this pretty much most of the way there. And uh, I need to ask permission when we we'll get there to see if I can film any of the area and when we are down there but hopefully i'll get some footage of the engine and the car that the engine's coming out of well we'll catch up with you when we get down where the engine is now i've been given permission to film this bit where the engines get loaded on the trailer this is what a 460 cubic inch or seven and a half liter ford engine and c6 gearbox looks like the c6 gearbox is on the back of the engine that i don't think you can see in these shots but once that's loaded on the trailer, the guys down here that own everything, they're going to be strapping down the trailer. And I have been told I can have a look in the barn. Now, of course, this is their own private land. And as such, they've asked me not to give away the area that we're in or indeed anything to do with the address or which part of the country we're at. So I am going to uh, stick to that. Please don't comment on the video asking where it is or how long it took to get there. I'm not giving any of that information away at all. But once we do get inside the barn, oh my God, that's going to be such a place to have a look at. There's some real gems hiding there. But for now, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the engine getting loaded on the trailer and then we'll head into the barn and we'll start filming in there. Wait till you see what's in there. Now this is a 1974 Lincoln Continental. This is the car that the engine and gearbox came out of. It was a running driving car. The guys down here that own it actually had it up for sale for about a year and a half, two years. All they wanted for it was four grand, but nobody was interested in it. So in the end, they decided to offer up for breaking for anybody that wanted the parts. As you can see, the complete interior is gone. All the stuff that's left, the doors, the wings, front bumper, back bumper, etc. They're all going up for sale to anybody who wants those. But look at what else is in the barn. I mean, these are amazing. This is a 1941 Cadillac. Granted, the front end's missing, there's no grill on it, and that'll be not only hard to find, but expensive to get. But that's there. This is a, I think this is a late 50s, mid 50s Dodge. I'm not quite sure what the gentleman was telling me on that one. And here we have, obviously, a Chevy Caprice station wagon. I mean, who doesn't have a Chevy Caprice station wagon kicking about somewhere? I think this one possibly is an Oldsmobile, is it a Vista Cruiser? 
or is it a Buick Estate? I'm not quite sure what that one is. And then we'll have this gorgeous Armstrong Siddeley limousine. Absolutely amazing. Of course, there's always a Jag, isn't there? There has to be a Jag kicking about somewhere. And then finally, in this particular row, there's this. Now, it's a 4950 Buick Roadmaster, Buick Roadmaster. Absolutely fantastic. And then the real interesting one. Look at this. 1959, 1960, Chrysler, Windsor, four-door sedan. Look at that. Oh, I so wanted this one. I did actually ask if it was for sale. Sadly, it's not. But oh my God, look how nice that is. I would love to have been able to bring that home with me. And of course, the engine that Dave's buying today is going into this 1950 Ford F1 panel van. This engine is out of the panel van and it's going to go into this 1938 Chevy sedan. And this is what it looks like with a 327 engine for the panel van sitting inside the 38 Chevy sedan. And I'll leave you with this little clip of Dave enjoying himself in his 38 Chevy now that the 327 is actually sitting in there. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye for now.